guys, welcome back to Cookie Week. I'm gonna make another cookie today. And today we're gonna make raisin filled cookies. Can you see that? I'll put all the ingredients down in the description down below. And this looks really good. This actually, this um, book has like pages and pages of raisin filled cookies. So, I don't know if it's a regional sort of thing. If you've had raisin filled cookies before, Leave a comment down below where you're from, because this cookbook is from Pennsylvania. So, let's go ahead and get started. It seems like a pretty simple um, cookie recipe, and then it has a cooked raisin filling. So, we'll start with the cookie. All right, so first we have to cream together shortening, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. And a lot of these recipes in this book use shortening, or they use oleo. So put a comment down below if you know what oleo is. I know what oleo is. I don't know that they even make it anymore. But, as far as I know, it's kind of like margarine, right? Anyways, so I'm just following the recipes. Um, just because. I want to be true to the recipe since I'm kind of reviewing them. I guess if you wanted to avoid Crisco, you could use like, palm shortening or something. Alright, so one cup of shortening. Two cups of brown sugar. I'll add in the eggs, three eggs. Okay, next I'm going to combine flour with baking soda. Okay, I forgot to put the vanilla in here. So let me do that now. <clears throat> So, it doesn't say to chill this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator while I cook the filling. Because I've got to cook the filling and then cool the filling. So maybe we'll come back and finish these tomorrow. I actually have a package of raisins that I forgot I had and then I bought a new package of raisins. So these have been here for a while, which is perfect because they're a little bit dried out. Which means they'll be perfect for cooking. I need two cups of raisins, one cup of brown sugar, two heaping tablespoons of flour. Is that heaping? And two cups of water. And it says cook until thick and clear. It doesn't even give me any amount of time so I guess we'll just cook it till it's thick and clear. I probably should have mixed the sugar and the flour together so that I don't get lumps. Alright so I brought this up to a boil and it's thickened. I don't know what thick and clear means and I don't know how thick it's supposed to be but the raisins are still kind of shrivelly so I think they'll soak up some of this excess water. But the directions are vague. Maybe it will thicken as it cools too. I'm just going to cut the heat and let it sit here and cool and soak a little bit. And then I'll put it in the refrigerator till tomorrow. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's been cooling on the stove for about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so we're back and I have to admit I cheated a little bit and I went online and I tried to find other raisin filled cookie recipes to get sort of an idea of how to do this because the directions are not that clear. Um, I think they're written for somebody who knows what they're doing sort of thing. Um, 
I have made raisin cookies a long time ago with my mom. And so I do remember that they're quite large and they're kind of sealed around the edges, so they're kind of like a hand pie. But this recipe doesn't tell you like how big or how thick to roll it or anything like that. So I did look. Um, I'll show you what the filling looks like after it's set up in the refrigerator. It's nice and thick, so I don't think it's going to ooze out too bad. Surprisingly, there's no real raisin-filled cookie recipe on all of YouTube that I could find. Unless these cookies are called something else, and I should be searching a different way. Um, but as far as raisin-filled cookies, there's like one video from a bakery, and it's kind of an advertisement, not really a recipe. So, I'm really surprised. Unfortunately, that means that if somebody's searching for this, they'll probably find my video, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So, we're learning this together. Alright, so my dough has chilled and it definitely looks like it's going to be easier to handle. I'm going to divide this in half and roll out half at a time. I think that will make it easier. And i got to find something to try to cut these out with, some kind of round shape. So let me see what I can find. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this as a band for a mason jar, and this is a regular mouth one. I feel like these are usually pretty large. I don't want them to be that large. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to sprinkle my counter with a little bit of flour and try to get this rolled out to a relatively thin thin thickness, if that makes any sense. Alright, let's start over. Instead of doing this on the counter, we'll do it between Silpat. Let's see if that works a little better. roll out cookies are kind of my arch nemesis. I much prefer drop cookies just because rolling and getting the right thickness and then getting them apart is just it's just too much work for a cookie. You know what I mean? I don't know, I think it needs to be a little bit thinner still. is the tricky part, is transferring them. So, I guess that's probably about a quarter inch. A little thicker than I probably want them, but that's the thickest, or the thinnest I could easily roll them. I'm going to give these lots of room and use the parchment paper because if any of that uh, filling comes out I'm sure it'll make a big burny mess so set these aside and get a second tray started okay I'm making an executive decision are you coming with me this is what we're gonna do we're gonna bake one tray because I'm really thinking these are too thick I'm gonna use those other ones for the lids for these ones we're gonna bake one tray we're gonna see how they turn out and then we'll proceed from there as far as the thickness of the cookie so I'm preheating the oven. Um, this recipe is supposed to make two dozen. So far, I have enough to make eight here. But I have no idea how thick they're supposed to be or how, like, the diameter. So knowing that there's two dozen really doesn't help me at all. I am going to measure an equal amount of the, the filling so that that is universal across the board. I'm thinking a tablespoon is too much. Hmm, maybe a scant tablespoon? I want these to be pretty filled, right? Is that going to be too much? Can you see what I'm doing? Let's put it in this cookie up here. I think that's too much. Comment below. It'll be too late by the time I read your comment, but comment below anyway. And then we can put this one. See, it's not going to work. The top has to be a little bigger, right? Just gonna press this out a little bit. Because it's gotta go over like that. Okay. Oh, 
The lids are cracking. I wonder if it'll look okay once it's baked. I really don't want to put less filling because that's kind of the whole point of this cookie, right? Maybe I'll do one with less filling. I really don't like how it looks all cracked on top. I want it to be smooth and perfect. So we'll try a teaspoon in this one. Oh, I don't know. That might be the right amount. I might be just being stubborn. Well, it's still cracking. Maybe it needs to be spread out a little bit more. So it's not in a big mound. See, that one looks better. But it doesn't have as much raisins in it, so would you rather have a pretty cookie that's a little bit skimpy, or would you rather have an exploding cookie filled with deliciousness? I guess we'll reserve judgment until they come out of the oven. Okay, so that's what they look like as soon as the oven preheats. Let's pop these bad boys in for 15 minutes. Alright, these ones are a little bit thinner. Maybe more like eighth inch. So have to be even more gentle when you peel them up. Disaster! Ah, oh, too thin. Nope. Last one. Nope. Alright. Try again. Maybe the dough is just warming up. These are just not coming up at all now. Okay. Oven's preheated. Put these guys in. Here's the second tray. Look at that one. That one looks good. That one looks really good. Don't look at this one. But look at that one. So I think it's a combination between less filling. I'm getting better at it. And maybe the dough has warmed up a little bit so it's not cracking so much. But yeah. That one. Look at that one. That one looks good. And I got about half of that dough has given me 16 like completed cookies. Alright, so instead of trying to peel them up. I'm going to try to spatula them up, see if that does a better job. Not really. No, don't do that. I wonder if you could also just make balls and flatten them. Why not, right? We'll try one of those too. Is this more work than rolling it out and cutting? Maybe. Can you hear my daughter? She's having quiet time. Alright, so these are ready to come out. Holy cow! Boy, I'm glad I didn't make them bigger. They really spread. I was not expecting that. <laughs> They're enormous. Look how big they are. Definitely bigger. So, here. This is the size of the cookie cutter. See, they grew a lot. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm going to put these over here and let them cool. Put the next batch in. I think 15 minutes is just right. They look like they're just a little bit golden. I don't want them to be too crunchy. 
Because then when you bite into them, they'll like, you know, crumble and fall all apart. And with the filling, I don't think that would be good. All right, so here we are. Let's see if I can get these off the parchment paper so I can start my next batch. Oh, they come off really easily. They actually look pretty good. They're just enormous. Can you imagine if I made them bigger? Holy cow. They'd be the size of a dinner plate. And it doesn't look like anything has leaked out. And now I've mixed them all up and I don't know which one had the tablespoon of filling and which one had the teaspoon. Which means tablespoon wasn't too much, right? Let's make the rest with a tablespoon. And we'll do the thicker cookie because I don't think it made a big difference, did it? Hmm. All right. It's going to be the world's longest cookie recipe video. So let me get the rest of these done. And when they're all done, I'll come back and show you the grand finale. All right, here is the last batch. I did not cut these out at all. These are all just rolled into balls and flattened into discs. And it's a little more tedious and a little more time consuming, but it's easier. So however you want to do it, I think either way will work. I ended up with just a little bit of filling. Maybe if I used a full tablespoon in all of the cookies instead of a teaspoon in some of them, it would have been the perfect amount, but uh, I'm gonna have to find a use for this. Maybe we can put it in oatmeal or something like that. So these are gonna go in the oven and then I'll show you what they all look like once they're all done. Hi right, guys, so here is the finished product. Sorry I kind of stumbled through this recipe, but I learned a lot and hopefully you picked up some tips too. So if you make this recipe, I'd love to know how they turn out for you. I will say overall, none of the cookies leaked. There's one where it was coming out a little bit, but it was coming out before I baked them. So it wasn't like it broke through the cookie. Um, I just didn't do a good job of sealing it up. Um, these larger ones are from the thicker cookies. And then the ones that I rolled out really, really thin that second batch, um, they just made smaller cookies because there was less you know, cookie mass to spread out. But they came off the pan really nicely. None of them um, cooked unevenly or anything like that. They look really awesome. And um, so these ones are more of how I was thinking they were going to turn out. So if you want them to be this size, but you don't want to go through the trouble of rolling them th so thin because they are kind of a pain to peel up, then um, just make your cookie cutter smaller. So that makes sense. And again, I can't tell which of these, I think these smaller ones had the lesser amount of filling, but as far as the larger ones, I can't tell which ones had a full tablespoon and which ones just had a teaspoon. <laughs> So a full tablespoon does fit. These ones on this tray here, they're still a little bit warm. These are the ones that I hand molded. And like I said, it was easier but took longer. So it's kind of a trade-off if, you know, one seems to be easier than that other. And they all, I think they all look fine. Some of them are a little bit, like, crackly on the top. But for as cracked as the dough looked on some of them when they went in the oven, I think overall they look really nice. And if you wanted, you could do, like, a glaze over them to give them a little bit of something special and to cover up that if you wanted to but to me I think they look awesome I'm really like looking for the very best one because I want to break one open and show you what it looks like on the inside this one looks perfect nice and golden on the bottom they came off of the parchment paper like a dream and let's just open this up and see what it looks like look at that and give it a taste Mmm. Oh my gosh. These were such a pain to make, but they're so worth it. Oh, they're so good. Mm-hmm. The cookie is like a sugar cookie, but it's made with that brown sugar, so it has a really rich flavor, and that filling is just heaven. Oh, these are really, really good. Pretty rich, so you want to have a glass of milk or share them since they're so large. Share them with your favorite person. But yes, definitely make these. Like I said, I'll put all the ingredient amounts and the directions down below. Hopefully you gleaned some tips from my efforts here. If you make them, I'd love to know what you think about them because I think they're phenomenal. Make these cookies. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, I'm going to open up one of these thin ones too. But I'm not going to eat it because, wow, that's a lot of, it's a lot. It's a lot of cookie. Oh, but that one looks just as pretty. That is just as pretty. Okay, put that back together. Nobody will ever know. All right, bye! Bye!